Hi everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Welcome back everybody. We're on page eight of Nature Notebook. And this is a, a Graphic 45 album. And um, I've got my pieces laid out here, so we're gonna get started. So you're gonna need two of these. These are six by eight, six by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the six inch side. And we are going to apply these two flaps uh, to the um, left-hand side of the pocket page. Okay, I'm gonna uh, double check to make sure there's no overlap. When I say overlap, that the um, pocket page is not, the flap is not extending beyond the pocket page. Okay, looks good. So let's go ahead and get this one in. This is gonna get uh, installed to flush with the edge of the pocket page. All right, hope everybody's doing well. We are having some very dry weather here in San Diego. Uh, but I'm not complaining, it's a beautiful sunny day. <clears throat> okay, and so I've talked about this in page one, which is the same design, but the way I like to locate my second flap is to actually hang it on the first flap and then pull the tape backing off and lay it down, let it find its location. And that way I know when um, when I finish my panels that they will interlock the way I want them to. So. Okay. And when I say interlock, I mean that the the edge doesn't stick out so far that I can't close it um, inside the pocket page or inside the flap. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having some trouble with my language today. Okay, so I'm resting it on top of the hinge or the flap, and um, I just want to make sure that it's. I'm going to use a contrast piece so you can see what I'm doing. Make sure that it's not um, off the edge. So I'm making sure it's centered. And then I'm just going to let it fall down and we're going to put it in place. Oops, and look at that. I'm off a little bit. So uh, those of you that know me know that I won't be able to stand that. So I'm going to lift it up and, and straighten it. And I haven't burnished it, so it should come up pretty easily. Um, but if not, I've also got some undo here that I can use. But, um, I mean, there's two solutions. One, you pull it up and the other is um, you just trim off the tab that's, that's hanging off the edge. But that will drive me crazy, so I'm gonna lift it. And um, I know this can be kind of tedious to watch, but I do leave my mistakes in, so hopefully you guys can learn from them. Um, these are pretty common mistakes that happens to anybody who's making an album. So I think it's uh, valuable for people to see how to work around those or how to correct them. In this case, we're gonna do a correction, not a workaround. The workaround would have been to trim off the edge that was um, hanging past the paper, hanging past the pocket page itself, okay? So I hadn't burnished it, I pretty much rested it down, and so because I hadn't burnished it into place, it really um, is gonna be a very easy fix. If I had burnished it, I would, um, I would have, um, use my undo to, to fix it. Okay, now it's still hanging off there a little bit, but it's perfect on this edge. And what I noticed and I didn't do was, um, I didn't dry fit it before I laid it down, which is a big no-no. But I'm just gonna cut off this little tab right here because those little tabs can get caught on stuff. And I don't really want it to get, catch on something and tear. So I'm going to turn it over and bring it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's very, very slight, um, but when you run your hand on it, you can feel it. So I'm just going to trim that down just a little bit. And then I'm double checking the rest of it. Actually, I say it's hanging. Yeah, it is. It's very slight. It's so slight, I think I'd do a better job with... Um, a sharp edge and my metal ruler. So you're gonna to need to be careful that you don't catch the top of your pocket page 
or you'll open it up. And it's very, it, like I said, it's very insignificant. I don't think most people would bother with it, but I just don't want it to get caught on anything. That is that, that's done, now it's smooth. Okay, so that is in, and then the last piece is going to be this pocket that gets adhered over on the right-hand side of the page. Actually, I gotta back up and put a magnet in. But I'm not gonna put this in yet because I'm gonna lay down my uh, paper and then add it on top of the mat. But, just so you know, the measurement for this is five and a half inch, five inches wide, five inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And you're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides to make your pocket. And you just need one of these. I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna go ahead and put our magnets in. Okay. go. And I'm using 3 8 inch tape, but my preference is 5 8 because it goes over and around the magnet, but I'm out of that right now, so I'm just using what I have. And um, you can, I, the one size you can't live without when you're making mini albums is 3 8 because that is what fits on your hinges perfectly. So you can always just continue to add more if you need a wider strip. Um, but I like to have on hand quarter inch, three eighths, and five eighths. Those are my three go-to sizes. And right now I have three eighths and quarter inch and I don't have my five eighths, so. Um, I use a lot of the five eighths when I'm actually building the base album. I use it on my spine and uh, the covers. So. So then I just don't have to use so many strips of this. Okay, so that is it for now. We're gonna take a break. I'm gonna get my um, designer papers lined up and we'll start decorating. So in addition to um, these two elements, we're adding these beautiful tags, which are gonna go in the pocket. We're gonna use one regular tag. This is a large tag that's been trimmed down to, let me verify, seven and a half. So I think this is like eight and three quarter it's full size, but you're gonna trim down from this edge to this edge to seven and a half, and then you're gonna round your corners. And I just used my um, Creative Memories Corner Rounder, which happens to be, um, it turns out, as you can see, is perfect match for the Graphic 45 corner, which means when I run my, um, when I create the mat for this using the die, this uh, radius is gonna work out perfect with that die. So. I think it's pretty common, um, radius. Most everybody has this. It's not one of the tight ones, it's one of the larger ones. So I'll trim that down to seven and a half, round out your corners, and then we'll cover those um, by running some designer paper through our die machine so that they'll fit and mat just perfectly on these and they'll go inside that pocket. Okay, I'll be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on Graphic 45 uh, nature's notebook and we're on page eight. I'm gonna shift this over just a little bit. So just like I did on, on page one, I went ahead and uh, pre-matted these two tags and the bottom of the tags is two inches. This tag has been trimmed down and I mentioned it earlier to seven and a half and then the bottom, both of the bottoms of these tags have a two inch banner on the bottom for the color blocking. I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, and I'm gonna set all my pattern papers aside. And let's go ahead and start by laying down this matted piece of paper so that we can add our pocket. Hope everybody's doing well. And I just finished our last bit of leftover turkey today. So I actually had to cook dinner tonight. <laughs> Which is okay, I like that, I don't mind. Of 
course, normally I tell you if I'm working from the eight by eight or the 12 by 12, but in a DCE, everything is the 12 by 12. So I've trimmed this piece out. Um, these are five and a half by eight. I laid them in and then I measured this to fit. I did not pre-cut it. I wait until I lay my panels down to um, make sure I have a good precise fit and a beautiful border all the way around. But now that it's down, I'll give you an estimate. It is four and Let me double check for and just the blue paper is four and three eighths. So this turns out to be four and three eighths, which means the black part from the hinge over is four and four eighths or four and a half. Okay, so that's it. Which means we can go ahead and add our pocket and I'll remind you that it is five inches across and four and a half inches deep. And we're gonna score a half inch on either side and across the bottom. And thank you so much for providing feedback on the latest reveal for Stamperia. I think um, we're all excited to see new content come out on those collections. They're beautiful. And um, yeah. Okay, so here's the two tags that I've already prepared. We're gonna go ahead and stick those in so you can see how they look and fit on the image. And now we're gonna start working on the main flaps and I don't think that's all the way in. <laughs> so one of the challenges with a hinge on the bottom is sometimes your tag will want to go on the back side of the hinge instead of the front side, so I'm just gonna burnish it. And hopefully this will sink all the way to the bottom. And if it does, so as you can see, it should it should go down here and it's stopping about right there, which means it's getting hung up on that lip. So a little bit of time and patience will help um, guide it into place. There we go. And then once it's been trained a couple of times, it'll just wanna go in the same slot every time. Okay, there we go. Okay, for the pocket, I've made uh, this image, I've cut this image and this little thing on the bottom. So let's go ahead and start. Well, let's start by putting the smallest slice in so that if we have to trim anything, we'll be trimming that larger piece, which is much easier to manage in the trimmer. I think you'll all agree. There we go. Now this is planned for here. And oh, it looks like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, normally I have to trim, 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 but I think I, I, I think we're okay. I think we can make this work without any further trimming. That's awesome. Not an easy thing to do when you're color blocking. So I told you earlier in the video that if I was color blocking, I'd try to give you some indication of what I was doing. So the strip on the bottom is one inch. That's one inch. And then I trim this down to fit. If you wanna make it exactly the same. And that just happened to be what I had uh, scraps I had left over. So I think it looks interesting with this tag here because when you pull it, you almost expect this to move, but that's just a detail on the pocket. Okay, now we're ready to start laying in the main components.
page eight. So just like I did on page one, I want this pattern to be continuous with this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I've already inked it. And like I said before, everything is a 12 by 12 because it's a, a DCE which is a deluxe collector edition, which means essentially from Graphic 45, it means it's a re-release. And generally speaking, it's, well, uh, I say generally, but things have changed a lot with that company in the last couple of years, but it's at least three years old when they re-release it. And the DCE comes with 12 by 12s, stickers, and chipboard. So there's no ephemera pack, there's only the cut parts. There we go. It's exciting, it's looking good. Okay, so now we have to make a decision. Are we doing this or this? And I like both a lot. So before I move forward, I'm going to pull back in the inside. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to look at page one and the distribution of color. So, what I think... Hmm, I think I'm going to use this. Okay, it's already trimmed. So I had a couple to choose from because um, I have to do the A and B side. I can't quite see my edges, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, Also going to use the same pattern here. Sorry, that's my dog. I think my husband's home, but I'm not sure. The funny thing about COVID is no. <laughs> People don't travel like they used to, so people don't come and go in the neighborhood like they used to. A year ago, my dog wouldn't bother, but the minute anybody walks out their front door, she's going crazy. It's definitely different, just because it's so foreign to her. She uh, went into a barking fit earlier today because a plane flew over. <laughs> okay, here we go. I was just double checking the image to make sure if it was orient if there was a certain orientation I needed to follow. I was checking it out. And oh. There we go. Um, and I did. Sorry, it was uh, slightly askew, so I lifted it quickly, and now we have this nice beautiful margin. Which uh as most of you know, really matters to me. <laughs> um, I don't know if a small border or a large border is more or less forgiving. I'm just so used to doing this really tight border. To me, when it's not right on, it's very obvious. Okay, now here's our other two pieces. And these are very bold prints, but with a DCE, you're, you're limited because you don't have a pack of patterns and solids. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on the inside, but it's probably gonna be a feature on one of the other pages, as opposed to a B-side. 
So right now I'm just dry fitting real quick and it looks good. So I'm gonna move the two tags. So as I apply this, um, it's flat and it'll lay down smooth and it'll be easier to get an even border. Gosh, it feels like it's been so long since I uh, sat down and did any crafting between um, the holidays and just having uh, some health issues, which by the way are not significant by any stretch. Just, um, I don't know what it was, but it was enough to make it hard to concentrate and focus on trimming and um, I couldn't even do simple math equations because my head hurt so much. But anyways, like I said, it's not, definitely not serious. Oh, I have some news. I have to brag a bit. My son took uh, his government test today. He's a senior in high school and has been homeschooled since March of last year. And I'm so thrilled that he's uh, getting straight A's. And he had a test in government today, which is kind of any, anything that's not math, he does well on. <laughs> but um, homeschooling is challenging. Um, I sit with him and try to focus on the Zoom. And oh my gosh, it's mind numbing. Anyway, he aced it. Took his test, was finished inside of seven minutes, and he got an A, and I was thrilled. So I don't know how many of you can relate. Love to hear in the comments, by the way, how many of you still have kids in school that are dealing with this um, huge interruption. I mean, everyone's lives have been interrupted, but I think as a, as a senior in high school, it's really, um, I'm just hyper aware of it. Um, I've worked from home for a while, so it doesn't feel difficult to me, except I don't get any quiet time. <laughs> but um, I think for seniors um, and having, or any homeschooled child, oh, it's, it's challenging. Okay, there, here we are. So we're about ready to do a quick walkthrough of the finished. If I can get it to go in the slot. It will. So what am I doing right now? I'll tell you. I'm trying to get this or this to help me push that all the way down. And what's happening is, uh, of course I don't have a quick thing to show you. What's happening is there's a hinge on the bottom of this and the tag is trying to go on the back side of the hinge instead of the front side. So um, it's good uh, when you're putting that bottom hinge down to do one of two things. One, either use a bead of glue, which I, I'm not a big fan of. I like to use a hinge so that I have the full extent of the pocket. If you use glue down here, that means you need to uh, estimate that you have a, f a quarter inch less of the pocket than what's really there. Um, but if you are using a hinge, and it's driving me to distraction that I don't have one. Here we go. So I'm gonna pull one in. So, and I'm gonna do this real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I have a half inch hinge and I have three eighths inch tape. And once I show you what I'm talking about, you're gonna go, oh yeah, that happens all the time. Or you already know it, so. So, as you can see, the tape is right next to the score line. And that's perfect, right? So it's right down here. But when you're trying to put something in the pocket, it can either go this way or it can stop right here. 
on the top side of the hinge. So there's a couple things you can do. One, you can keep working with uh, your score um, to try to train it to go all the way in, like this. Or, and the other thing I do is, if I have scores on both sides, is I make sure the sides go in first and then the bottom. Because if you put the bottom in first and the scores over the side, it's definitely gonna wanna stop here. So always put your sides in first so that it's naturally going to want to follow the side scores. Um, but the other thing you can do is lift your tape up a little bit closer to the edge, and then if you need to, put a, a bead of glue on the bottom. So what's happening, like I said, is it's getting stuck right here. But after I train it a few times, it'll be fine. But like I told you earlier in um, the beginning of the videos, I got some feedback and I was making some assumptions about what people did or did not know or what I had or had not said in previous videos. But what really matters is if you're here for the first time, these are things that'll be beneficial to you in the long run. And it just takes me a few more minutes to say it. And I hope it's not too boring for those, uh, for those of you that have been uh, following me all along. So thank you so much for tuning in today. This is page eight. And we have two tags and the bottoms are matching and they're color blocked. Like I, I love color blocking and a pocket. And this is page eight for nature's notebook. And we'll get back together soon and work on some more pages or the rest of the book soon. Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Take a moment, please, to subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we have new content. And give our shop a, a chance. We have very competitive prices and we have outstanding shipping turnaround times. So... We'd love to have you visit our shop, and if you are in the market for Graphic 45, Stamparia, or Chow Bella, we have it. We try to keep every single active print they have in stock at all times. Look forward to seeing you guys or hearing from you here on the channel. Thanks.